In Kunstbeck is there a lot of roundabouts. And even if we're not showing them all, they are building yet another one. The drinking water in Kungsback is one of the Sweden's best. It's produced in waterworks on Fjärrasbräcka a few miles outside Kungsbacka. We have a few famous people from Kungsbacka. Amanda Wienberg, who is competing in Swedish Idol right now. Ulrik Munter, who won the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2009. Omar Rudberg, who is a member in the Swedish pop group The Foo. In Kungsbacka there is about 79,000 habitats. 28% is under the age of 20. 55% is between 20 and 64. 70% is older than 65. In Kungsbacka there is 30 primary schools and 5 high schools. Yeah. This is the cinema of Fakhlan. It's the only now running cinema in Kungsbacke. It may look small on the outside, but it's a lot bigger on the inside. There is five big lunches, and here's one of them. If you get hungry, there is always the restaurant, or you can get some snacks. This is the culture of Sweden. Here you can do a lot of things. Uh, there is, for example, a big library. There you can borrow books and study. There is also a cafe and a restaurant. Sometimes there are exhibitions here with everything from art to history. At Fyren you can also play instruments, sing and play theatre. This is the Kungsbacka Theatre. It's the only big theatre in Kungsbacka. There have been a lot of plays here and some famous actors have been here as well. And why people choose to be here is because of the good acoustic. The theatre is connected with the high school and the Kungsbacka Culture School. Here's the secret entrance to the culture school. The Kungsbacka Culture School is quite popular because it's the only place that teaches theatre and musical nearby. Kids from times far away from Kungsbacka come here to take part in it. But musical and theatre is not the only thing you can attend to. There's also things like music. Kungsbacka was Danish until 1645. Kungsbacka is in the southwest part of Sweden. About 79,000 people live here. There was a fire in 1846 that almost burned down the whole town. Only one house survived the fire. It's called the Red Cottage. The house is today 169 years old. Kjulleholm is a castle in Kungsbacka municipality. They started to build it in 1864 and they finished it in 1904. In 1964, it became a museum. It's a popular tourist attraction. Britta Lena Andersson was a famous medicine woman. She was born in 1824 and she died in 1904. She was very talented at mending people's broken bones. The church was burnt down in 1846. It was the same fire as the fire that burned down the whole town. The new church is 169 years old. The library here in Kungsbacka is around 20 years old. The library is called the Lighthouse. At Kungsbacka Library there are some statues. One of them is a dinosaur and the other statue is a goat. This statue was built by Lars Stocks in 1981. It is called the Tree of Life. The statue Blommancirkel, the circle of flower, was built in 2007 in memory of the Mayflower 100 year jubileum. The Mayflower is an organization that helps poor children. Gallows Hill was the place of execution for the whole town back when we killed people. They stopped the executions in 1910. This is our biggest sports centers. This is Tingbergsvallen. On Tingbergsvallen we have our yearly municipal competition. 
Tim Bessuelen was inaugurated in 12th of July 1936. Tim Bessuelen has an audience capacity of 760 people. This is Inlog. On Inlog we, ha we have 11 greens and one astroturf. This is one of our ice rings. First there were two teams, but now they are merged together. We have 20 changing rooms. And there is one shooting range. Sport teams. IFK Gothenburg is playing in Allsvenskan. IFK Gothenburg was formed in 1904. IFK's home ground is Old Ullevi. Frörnda is playing in the Swedish Hockey League. Frörnda was formed in 1930. Henrik Lundqvist is the most famous Frönda player. Håko Aranes is a handball club. Håko Aranes was formed in 1947. In 2010, Aranes men's team was qualified to Elite Serien. In 2008, Kuzmesan came first in the retail award competition for being the best shopping mall in Sweden. Kuzmesan got 5 million visitors each year. They got about 90 stores and there is parking space for 1,600 vehicles. Freeport have about 40 stores and 3 restaurants. Freeport is an open air outlet. In Kungsbäcker town, there are many stores and several restaurants. It's going bad for stores in the town because Kungsmässen and Freeport are so popular. Many stores have been forced to close. There are many different kinds of stores. Clothes stores, Systembolaget, we buy alcohol, video rentals and candy stores. There are also two squares with markets. This is Fjärrosbrekka. Fjärrosbrekka is a famous ridge south of Kungsbacka. About 10,000 years ago the inland ice went forward with high speed and on its way it got stones in the ice. The stones came to the edge of the ice. The inland ice stopped in Fjärros. Uh, when the ice melted the stones dropped and it became Fjärros Brycke. There is a lake next to Fjärros Brycke called Lynnen and we get our drink water from there. Now you can go there and take a coffee break and look at the view and visit. This is a nice park that calls Badhusparken and you should visit a cafe that calls Handverkscaféet. We're in Kungsbacka. The water tower was built in 1897 and it's 187 steps up to the little house. Now people have the water tower to a viewpoint. The water tower has one of the best views over Kungsbacka. You can almost see the whole Kungsbacka from here. 